Hey, what's up, guys? Yeah, so uh, in the door right now in Logic, um, I just want to show you guys the project, um, play through it a little bit, and then show you how I go about um, or how do I recommend that I actually print. So let's see if I can just jump through so you can catch an idea. You can decide the victory, pushing our vibe if we tip see your weakest desires and then some. Let's put that young hoodie going down, rolling the sheet like a big jam. We meditate like a think tank. We don't move swift for the countdown. She wore the stars and the jam down. Was a split flip, we turn up. So yes, so yeah, sorry. So yeah, this is the actual song that I just released. Um, uh, I think it was last week or whatever. Um, the production is by a uh, producer by the name of David Beats. Um, Beats by David, sorry. Um, he's from England. And, you know, the artist is in transit, uh, a.k.a. myself. <laughs> so yeah, so if you guys want, um, I'll link the video at the end and everything. All right, but let's get into the printing. So... Uh, as I was the mix engineer and everything on this track, right, um, I started to think, you know, maybe um, for future reference, I may not have these things again. I may not have these same plugins or somebody else may want to do something with the track um, as it's another producer. You know, uh, David might want to get uh, the stems or just the overall um, shell of the track, but without having the same um the same plugins right so the best way i go about or i suggest going about this thing is by doing what i would call just old-fashioned solo and bouncing why it may be tedious but it's the best option because you're gonna not only get the like as you can see these a lot of plugins that i've had on one particular vocal on my main vocal right and you're also going to get the, the plugins um on the master bus and you're going to also get the um <laughs> the sends and and the buses right and that's what you really want you really want it to be baked in well if that's your desired that's my desired thing to bake in the stuff so years from now or whatever all the things are there especially if you go to the club and the djs want to do whatever and stuff everything is just baked in and it's there and it's and it, it could be archived and if something is lost or whatever i could always come back to it can't overstate that right so what you just what i will do is i'll just go in here solo command b and print right um for the sake of the video and the time and i don't want to make you guys wait and everything so trust me on just going in solo and everything should be fine and then when you bring it back in and you set your tempo at 97 or whatever it should just be able to line back up well in my case it's 97 so it will be able to just line back up no problems the only drawback to this technique is that it's just long and tedious right um so the second thing i the only other method i would suggest is by setting up um setting up to print within um within logic itself right um so one of the other things you could possibly do is actually set this up like like so go in here and you let's say let's say for example i wanted the the um these two sends right i wanted it to be printed within um the file what i will have to do is create individual tracks for these right so you go there option right right and then what i will proceed to do from here is that i will go in and group all of these together right and it will automatically create a bus instead of me going in and then bussing all of them to the same thing this is just the quicker way to hit shift command g right all of them and i'll call this let's say um, jamal lead right so that's done right so now what you will want to do is create a 
an other, well, I'll call it print. Um, let's say Jamal print, right? And then I'll proceed to, well, which I didn't even, oh, okay, this is, this is boss 10, right? So I'll proceed to go to print, all right? And take the input from boss 10, right? Which is this here, because I named it over, right? Take the input from that, right? And set the output to this. And set, sorry, set the output to, should, um, should I? Just now, I'm not too sure if I'm doing this correctly again. <laughs> oh, so my goodness. All right, cool. Well, let, let's try it and see. And that's the most important thing about these things, man. You go through, you try, you fail, you say, ah, shucks. And you, you tether stuff and see what is, how it works, right? So, all right, let's see. So, I recorded and enabled this track. I'm now taking input from bus 10. And let's, let's see if it works, right? Oh, got a must record, right? So here we go. Let's let's see what it sounds like. No reason to give me tempo wine. Oh well, of course I didn't. My bad. I forgot to actually change this to stereo. So let's go again. to give him a tempo wine gas sleep so we load up right and there you go you see there we have it right so that's how you you could print it in that way as well you know i think i deserve a little round of applause for you know kind of messing up and then coming back you know <laughs> but you know but seriously this is another way as you could see um the only the only thing is i would i would say about this um this is just the setting up of things um, and the possible things that you may run into is that you may have to mute out other things that let's say in this case i have the i have vocals from the back end running into the um um running using the same using the same um reverbs and stuff so you may have to mute all the vocals from the other tracks and stuff so that's why hence i'm i'm putting this at my number two so yeah so that's these two methods here i would say would be your best bet to get things baked into the files right now the other method now it's like uh it's it gives you um it gives you a printout of both the um, the main insert, well, the stuff on the main inserts. Let's go back in here. So here it will give you the printout of what's on here, as well as it will give you printouts of just what the sends are, right? So to do that method, um, you would just actually highlight all the tracks, right? Within the well, within this given bus here, and you go up and you go to export, and then it, you would say export. Um, uh, three tracks as audio files, right? You do not want to say the selection um, because when you do the selection, it's just going to print out this and you will get one file as opposed to this one. Well, that one where I just showed you would give you three files, right? Um, and you would end up with, as I said, when you print it, you're going to end up with these, this one here on, on the top, and then you're going to end up with these files here, but they all just split up into its respective... Um, into his respective lanes and everything so if you want if you like your stuff to be split up that's cool 
but me i would just i would probably prefer it to all be just baked in yeah so now that we're done with that method or those previous methods all right i would say this next method is best done for um pre-mixing and post-production stage right it helps to get your mind into the trans the, the transformation of going from production and then going to mixing because it's two different mindsets you may have right and it helps to commit to something and stick to it and unless there's something detrimental that you really need to go back and fix this is what i recommend actually committing to audio so how this method is is you go up right um gotta get in logic first right and you go up and you could go to when you go to bounce and it's going to say um bounce and replace all tracks what this will do is it will go through and instead of printing the sends and and the buses what it will actually do is it will just only print the inserts so let's call that method like the insert bounce right as opposed to the global bounce when you press the command b right global bounce takes into consideration everything this bounce only takes into consideration what's on the actual inserts itself on a, a, on a particular track so i went ahead and i actually um actually i i went and i actually did the um export right export all tracks as audio files it does the same thing as it bounce except it puts it in a folder and ready to export and stuff but the same procedure of just bouncing or just ex just running through the tracks and and exporting just what's on the uh, on the inserts of those tracks it does the same thing right so this is what they this is what came out right and let me see if i could drag this back in real quick so you could have an idea of what happened right so as we could hear this one here has a lot of reverb and no reason to give him a tempo wine gas leave so we load up right but here this one It's the end of the week with your thing, girl. So come load up, boy. So it's just a lot of things that were on the ma on the on the insert itself, not actually the the reverbs, and definitely not the what's on the master bus and stuff. So, um, so this method, this is why I say it's best for the pre the pre mix and everything because a lot of times in the pre mix you just want what's essential and then you add the the reverbs and all this kind of stuff after the fact right um when you're going into the actual mixing stage and stuff so um uh, i wouldn't suggest this method unless you're only doing it for that particular reason for the pre-mixing and post-production um simply because there are a lot of how you may call it unpredictable kind of nitty-gritty things that you kind of have to no, so like in this case, if I was to hold these, these two, or these three or two or whatever, and then I, I try to export that, um, or I try, yeah, it would sometimes it would just print with the two stuff, and then depending, it gets even more weirder if it is you actually using Apple Loops or if you're using MIDI. Um, I would advise that you check out this guy's video. I would link it in the in probably in the description or something. Uh, I would advise that you check out. I think it's why logic pro rules and he went in in depth of when he was going his findings when he was trying to do like exporting and stuff and the different variations of he didn't really get what he was looking for but then he eventually found what he was looking for kind of thing and to me it was just a lot of confusion and a lot of headache and little nitty-gritty things you might have to remember which I don't have time for when it's time for exporting and stuff so I would suggest either stick into the two methods earlier on which is the the printing it into itself or the printing into logic uh, using buses and stuff right that's the that's my two golden nuggets from from what it is i could say here so um yeah man so i hope that this was helpful and it was um explanatory enough 
Um, so yeah, man. So I uh, hope that everybody enjoyed it and be sure to check back in next time. Next, I don't know when. I'm trying to see how best I could keep up with these little things or whatever you want to call it tips tricks tutorials or whatever if you guys have any comments uh, i would advise you i would encourage you to you know talk down below and let's get cracking right so let me see if i could do a little outro with my music while i'm talking let's see she the stars and the